Yes, indeed, YouTube. We are back. It is a guy, 74 Midwest Base. And as you can see, we got mail. Boxing for the day, we've got the Audio Legion Javelin 12D2. So for those who might know, Audio Legion has, I believe, went out of business. So they've had a kind of a blowout sale going on their equipment. This one is probably one of the lowest budget line that they had. It was a pretty awesome sale. Yes, indeed. I meant to get this to you guys earlier. I tried to get it to you yesterday. When I looked on the site yesterday, they had 14 left. When I woke up this morning, unfortunately, there was zero remaining. No need to worry. You know your guy. Got him. We're back to the business. So, <laughs> as you can see, unexpectedly, on the sub at this price, you got a box in a box. First good side. Inside that box, you got the Audio Legion box. Open it up. First thing you see is the sticker. The all white decal, Audio Legion decal. I don't know if we'll be running this, so, you know, anybody that might want it or any of the other. Decals we got, just leave it in the comments from Duke Giveaway or something. Anyway, let's get back to the business. We got a uh, cover, it's pretty nice. As you can see, it's indented to fit the subwoofer to keep it protected. That's good. Got your little thin sheet of foam. And to the actual meat of what we got, the subwoofer itself. Wrapped in plastic is anything that's brand new should come. Okay, you got the subwoofer itself. Pretty thick, but not too thick. Medium roll surround. Nice, pretty. And then it Audio Legion logo. Stamp steel basket, but it is coated, so you can, as you can tell from the, there's no resonance, so that's a good sign. You can tell, not too expensive, but not too cheap. What you would expect on a sub at this price range: 10 gauge push terminals, woven tinsel leads, nice stiff, but not too stiff spider. Shot at the coil, as you can see, copper coil, but it does not have the protective heat coating. Single slug motor with the extended vented pole cap on the back. As you can see, it's got venting around and the center pole venting. It's indeed, back the Javelin Series Audio Legion. Jive 12D2, dual two ohms, 300 RMS. It's indeed, it's pretty much the basics of it. Uh oh. First is a bad sign. You heard that? That's no good. And as you see, this is a brand new sub. Need 
do get cool uh, so this first sign it's not good anybody might have ordered these and have some sitting around you might want to check them See on the cool deer. Don't see any. It's not burnt. So it's almost as if it just was manufactured improperly, or this is the one that slipped through QC or something, maybe. Uh, Nevertheless, go ahead and get some juice put to it and see. Maybe possibly something just got stuck in there and we can force it out or maybe it's trash. Either way, one way or the other, I'm gonna put some power to it and see what happens. Yes, indeed. So after doing some more investigations and inspections on the subwoofer, we figured out that the coil was rubbing only on one side, so to figure out which side, we pushed around on the edge of the coil till we found the side that was rubbing the most. What that let us know is that the coil was in there at an angle. So that could have been for one of two things. One, well many of things, but the main things would have been possibly the spider being glued, uneven, which could have possibly meant that they didn't shim it when they installed it. But after we looked and did some more inspection, we found that the problem was actually the basket. So what I'll say about these subs is the baskets are rather weak, or maybe they dropped this one. Because what was going on is that the spokes on the basket, two of them, were bent. that was doing was causing the coil to be not aligned inside of the subwoofer itself. So if you get one of these and they're cool rubbing immediately out the box, what I would suggest is you check the spokes and make sure that they're all straight. But before you go to trying to straighten them, figure out which side is rubbing them the most and just start by straightening that side. You want to make sure that you don't hit this with any type of hard hammer. You either want a rubber mallet or you want some type of cushion in between it so you don't damage it itself. And you don't want to go crazy whacking on it. Try to knock anything else loose. Just gentle stiff taps to straighten it out a little at a time until you get to a point to where you can push in the center of the cone and as you can hear, no more coil rub. Yes, indeed. So we all know what's next for a year. Been running through some frequencies. Let you guys see it flexing and moving in action. First song we're gonna do, system checker. Get it. <laughs> 